A very good evening, everyone. So I think I'm glad to see a lot of familiar faces and also new faces as well. All right. So thank you guys for joining us tonight in the, the second session, actually, uh, of the leadership training program. But it is called the session number one for the NCO responsibilities. All right. So before we go further in, in introducing our speaker tonight, can I have a small favor from all of you to rename yourself, to put your rank in front in short form, in, uh, for example, like your captain, CPT, uh, lieutenant or sergeant, uh, SJT, uh, SGT, Lance Copro, Copro, private, PVT or PTE uh, in front underscore your first name, you don't need to put your full name, and underscore your uh, state or your country, and by after that, followed by your company, all right? So I will need your favor to do that um, immediately now, okay? But nonetheless, uh, I just want to welcome everyone once again from all over Malaysia and also from uh, BB Indonesia. So we have a few... Um, uh, members and officers with us uh, from BB Indonesia, uh, notably uh, Captain Sao from BB Indonesia, welcome. Uh, then uh, Jason uh, from Jakarta and the rest uh, that, that is joining us tonight. All right, so welcome you guys to join us. So without further ado, I just want to introduce you guys to this um, wonderful speaker and friend that um, I have his name is Nicholas Yap. All right. So he is to me uh, a mentor and a great guy, a guide of God, uh, and a wonderful officer and captain of 12th Kuala Lumpur. So he is also leading the national team in this term in Boys Bay, Malaysia, as the brigade president. And we are very honored and glad that he is able to to empty his time because he's a family man. So on a Saturday evening where he could have spent his time with his family, but he gave his time to share with us about um, the responsibilities and qualities or characters of NCO. And with his years of experience, over 10 years of experience as an officer, himself as a rank and file from Kampa Perak, I believe that um, he can share um, great things with us. So without further ado, we would like to give a great clap and welcome to Captain Nicholas uh, uh, tonight. And before I pass the mic to him, and let's turn on our video and let's uh, keep these things interactive so that we will know we can be able to see you who is behind that name. All right. So without further ado, I pass the mic to Nicholas. Thanks, George. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, everyone. It's like, so good to see everyone here on this uh, Saturday evening. And especially welcome uh, from those from Indonesia. Captain Saur, like, welcome. Jason, welcome. Like, uh, so good to see everyone here. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to share my slides. Uh, and I want to see that uh, I would say that uh, George would need you to, I'm, I'm going to share my screen, yeah? Okay, let me see. All right, so we'd like to get uh, everyone, no, if, if you can, uh, join me um, to go to ahaslikes.com slash A8F6A, right, uh, to join this, uh, uh, to join the quiz, uh, to join the presentations, uh, include officers and members, like, do come, yeah. Yes, I look forward to see. Tonight, we shall have over, let's see, how many people do we have uh, tonight? We have nine. Mm. On, All right, so I hope everyone uh, see the screen. If you see the screen, uh, feel free to just uh, give me a thumbs up uh, that you're ready to, to kick start. And let me play some music. Yeah. Background. 
right? So we have 24 people only. Like uh, we, are, we are expecting about like uh, 80 more people. Like the registration today is supposed to be 100 more people, yeah? Right, so we have 24 people right now. So well, I'm gonna wait for the rest of you to join. Uh, we have 109 participants today. Okay, that's great. Officers and members, yeah, we need everyone to be in. Yeah, I love uh, private sets uh, that you actually follow the, the instruction from George. <laughs> that's great. Uh, once once everyone ready, I will need the full one hour attention uh, from you. Yeah, so that like uh, we we're gonna do this uh, together. Yep. And I hope that uh, I'm gonna give you one good hour of uh, training together. Yeah. And thank you to uh, uh to the organizing committees for inviting me to present uh, today. So we only have forty five. So it's like uh, very far away from the one hundred and twelve members that we have. Yeah. Come on, like uh, we can do this better so that we can get some more and more people to, to join in. Right, so only 47. Come on. Yeah, we need more to come in. Yes. So we're going to go through the series of uh, quizzes and series of learning together uh, over here. It's not going to be entirely quiz, but it's going to be a lot of uh, learning to quiz together. And um, I, I want to give like uh, one interesting thing. It's like for those who basically like uh, score the highest tonight, uh, I'm going to sponsor one ticket to PESTA 2021. Right, so in either officers or members, the one who score the highest tonight are going to get one ticket from me uh, to PESTA 2021. Yeah, all right. So only the entry tickets, yeah, not the flight tickets. <laughs> All right, so I hope like uh, we all have fun uh, tonight. It's only 59 so far. So we should have uh, more than that. Like, uh, I hope that uh, we can all quickly uh, participate so that like uh, we, we can start as soon as possible, that we don't have to delay further. So we are 18 minutes behind now. Yeah. 65, so I need more to, to participate. Right, so we should have uh, one, at least 100, then we will start, yeah. Okay, let's have everyone to join. So it's so beautiful to see everyone's names over here. Right, we have 78, okay. 20 over more to kickstart for this program. Come on. Yeah. So 83, 17 more before we start. Yeah, right after uh, I have 100, then we will immediately start, yeah? 100, yeah. Right, 15 more to go. Right, 86. I'm expecting all leaders over here, right? Yeah, I think it's like we can do better than this. Like, uh, it's still 86 right now. So we need 100 to kickstart. Come on, everyone. For those who just uh, come in, I would just want to uh, share with you tonight, you know, for those who score the highest points, whether you are officers or members or even like uh, from Jakarta, all right? It's like uh, the highest scores, like gonna get one ticket to PESTA 2021, right? It's, uh, promotions for PESTA 21. 2021 in December in Kuching, Sarawak. I'm not too sure whether you're excited about PESTA. I'm definitely very excited since we can't have PESTA this year. Yeah. All right. So like uh, nine more people before we kick start. Nine more, right? So we should collectively come together, right, to do this.
12 more people to go. Doesn't seem that we are able to hit 100, sir, despite we have 120 participants over here. Right, I thought this is NCO training. <laughs> All NCOs are expected to be there. Right, so well, 95, yes. 94. All right, 95. Come on, six more people, four more people to go. Right, we'll start immediately the moment that we hit 100. Encourage your friends and members who are not here tonight. Wow, it's taking longer than I expect it to be. Right. It takes five minutes to ten minutes to get to get to one hundred people to foreign. <laughs> I thought online we can do it easier. Right, ninety eight. Yes, great. Two more people before we start. All right, it's good. Let's see if you can get this first question. It's like, uh, let's see how many of you are new here. All right, bonus questions, right? The faster you answer, the, the, more, the more points that you get. Yeah. How many of you are new here? Wow, 70, 80 more people answered. That's fast. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Wow, this is my first session. 63 people saying that this is first session and 31 of you attended the last session. Let's see the next things. And I want to see the compositions of the people that we have over here. And let's see who do we have tonight. Whether you are potential NCO, you are NCO, you are staff sergeant or primer, or you are an officer instructors, or you are parent tonight. So if you happen to be parent and also officer, you can put two tick, right? Yeah. All right, so majority NCOs here, all right? And 48 people wanted to be NCO tonight. Okay, we have uh, 39 staff sergeants and primer. Wow, that is a lot. And 49 officers. Thanks, officers, instructors. Thank you for tonight. And also among, among you, there are three parents as well. All right, that's a good statistics. Next. First thing first, for tonight, I think that's very, very important tonight. First thing first, we need to do this, yeah? I think that's the first thing we want to do is to say a happy birthday to George. Yeah, show your love. Yeah, the more love uh, coming in for George. Yeah. yeah, I want to especially thank George tomorrow. You know, today is his birthday. I know this is the second time we're going to have this LTP and then we're going to have uh, sing happy birthday to you, but uh, I think it's like it's going to be great and thank you for your dedication, George, for tonight. Like, uh, it's just amazing and like, I want to take this time to do a prayer of blessings to George. Let's, let's uh, show our hand and let's pray for George. Father, just want to thank you for this uh, wonderful servant of you, George, and I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for your dedication. Even on his birthday today, Lord Jesus, he is serving you and dedicated his time, Lord Jesus, for the great for the ministry. Lord, I just want to thank you for this great servant of you. Continue to bless him. Lord, so send him the, the girlfriend, Lord, the wife, Lord Jesus, that he desire, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue to give him favor in everything that he do. In Jesus' name, I ask him pray. Amen. All right. All right. So we have done all the important things right now. I want to know, like, uh, are you ready to kickstart? Right, it's good. Like uh, 45 percent or 45 people, like uh, saying that's yes, yes, yes. All right, that's the kind of enthusiasm that I actually need to have. That there are people who actually ask questions. Oh yes, this is where your comment is. Very good. Happy birthday, George. You can see all the comments over here. 
it's good all right so now nowadays you're familiar with like uh, you can actually put your comment when i see there's a comment there i will basically have a look and answer your question along the way when i'm we are going through this if you have questions feel free to just type it there yeah okay it's good like uh, thanks for those who are saying yes 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 right next let's go to the third questions what is the name of today's session so that you don't come for the wrong sessions? Let's see whether you get this correctly. What is the name of today's session? Wow, 62 of you got it right. Wow, roles and responsibility. And so this is tricky, right? Tonight is about quality and responsibilities of an NCO. Okay, it's cool. Thank you for your participations. Next, let's see who is leading right now. We have Man Pin, all right, 875 points. Andrew, 866. And Ong Wei Tat, 857 points. So very close. So the rest of you, don't give up because the statistics actually show those who are on the first three will not last until the end. So let's see how good is the statistics. Okay, and whether Manpin can be the defending champions or not for tonight. All right, let's start the questions number four. So all these are just bonus questions huh? so that like you get yourself warm up. Yeah. Today's session is all about how to handle NCO council meeting how to become a better NCO, how to manage squad, or how to rededicate my commitment to my company. Let's see what is tonight's sessions all about. All right, so 84 of you gotten it correct and 28 also like uh, gotten it correct. So to, today's, uh, I want to specially uh, talk about like how you can become a better NCO and how you can rededicate your commitment to your company. Today is not about how to manage squad because like uh, it will be basically handled by another speakers on the, in the upcoming uh, trainings. Let's see who is, wow, Manpin is still leading. Huh? Andrew and Waitat are still leading. Oh my God. Okay, let's see how it goes later. All right, question five. To get everyone's ready, uh, which page in the fifth edition of BB Handbook is about NCOs? Right, so I think the most important book in it for all of us is always this, yeah. The the BB Handbook's very important. Always have this with you all the time, yeah. Let's see. All right, yeah, okay, at least there are 28 of you gotten it correct. Page 31 to 33, that's good. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Wow, like I told you, Jaden. Wow, Jaden, where are you from? And Jason, San Chao. Okay, now we have a totally three different people ranking up right now. Let's see if Jaden, Jason, and San Chao, okay, able to maintain their positions. Let's see, question six. Recommended minimum age for an NCO. All right, just type your number, right? There's only one answer. Recommended minimum age as per the BB handbook, yeah? As per the BB handbook. Let's see. Oh, it's good. Everyone participate. Time's up. Oh, okay, correct. 64 of you gotten it correct. Very good. Well done. Next, let's see. Wow, Jaden. Now we have second Manjong, Fuji. San Chao is still there. Huh? Okay, it's good. Next question. Promotion is given as a reward as and when I have gained six badges and above. As and when I am ready or none of the above. This is pretty easy, yeah? pretty straightforward. I hope all of you got it correct. Wow, <laughs> okay. It's not a reward, it's not when you gain six badges, it's not when you're ready. It is none of the above, yeah. Let's see, next. 
Right, let's see who is leading. Fuyu, all right. Second Manjung, Jaden and San Chao is still there. Good. Let's see what's next. These are all warm-up questions for you yeah, to get familiar with the systems. Which rank is not an NCO? I hope everyone got this correct. Okay, majority of you got this correct. Huh? That's good. Alright. Let's see. Well, Fuyu, Jaden, and Danny. Now we have a newcomer, Danny. Okay, rising up. That's good. I look forward for Danny to rise up. So why do we need an NCO? Now this one, I need you to do your submissions. Right, so why do we need an NCO in the company? Let's see what is your answer. Right, as you as you as you type it up, it will be submitted to help officers to run the company. Very good. To assist the company to lead the members. I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> to lead the company. They are the backbone of the company. Very good. Wow, these are all very good answers. Wow, the two. Wow. Sorry, I don't know to help to lead the companies, to build up leadership, to help the officers to run the company. Like you can basically see it here, you can see all the responses. All right, it's very good. We have a lot of you who submitted and there are questions over here. Okay, so okay, these are not the questions. Okay, that's good. Let's see, all right, to help the company. So most, most of you basically say that's like we need an NCO because it is the backbone of the company is the bridge for the members and officers to help the officers to run the company, to lead the members, to prove that, uh, to run the companies, like uh, to organize the company as efficient as possible to have achieved the best outcome for the company. Very good. Seems like all of you know. I seems like all of you know what is an NCO is all about and why do we need an NCO. That's very good. Let's next. What do you think are the qualities of an NCO? I want you to give me the answers uh, right now. You have 90 seconds to give me the answers. What do you think the qualities of the NCOs? What do you think are the qualities of the NCO? Discipline, paying compliments, good leadership, friendly, steady and firm, leadership. I don't know. All right, the same guy who said, I don't know. Lawyer, discipline, role model, responsible and strong view. Excellent role model. God fearing and people loving. Wow, I love that. Leadership quality, responsible, good example, good conduct and character, right? That's good. Obedience, responsible, like uh, keenness. All of you, very good. Thanks for the participation. Very good, very good. Hardworking, holding on to BB objective. This is very good, holding on to BB objective. Honest, fair, discipline. Well, all the qualities of a leader, for example, discipline. Okay. All right, so NCO needs to be disciplined, God-loving, and good example. Thanks for all the answers. Excellent attendance. Wow, this is almost like uh, copying from the BB handbook. <laughs> when you play, you just play. When you must serious, you must be serious. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much for the participation. I shall move on to the next. What do you think also is the responsibilities of an NCO? All right, so flood me with your questions starting now. Thank you very much for the answers. Like uh, it seems like these are the these are the things that uh, 
you, you think are the responsibilities of an NCO. Let's move to the next things. Like this is only for the offices, yeah? Because I want to take this opportunity for the offices to lay out what are your expectations for the NCOs, all right? And NCOs, it is your time right now to just look at the screen, no? Stop looking at your phones. You do not need to participate. Like no score for this one. Don't worry about that. And only for the offices to basically write this down, all right? Only offices, yeah? Only offices. Like uh, I want you to really look at the screen right now to see what are your offices expect out of you as an, as an NCO. Uh, this is so, so important, yeah? We have a lot of uh, offices over here and I think like their inputs are very important and you know that uh, these are the important things. If you're not an offices, uh, please do not enter into this because like uh, you'll be actually like uh, messing up the, the whole like uh, survey I'm actually doing right now. Thank you. Right, thanks offices. Right, so if your offices, that's great. Initiative is very important. Teachable, responsible, loyal, caring to the members, integrity, always willing to learn and improve. Proactive, right? Yeah, these are the expectations from the offices to the NCO. So this is so, so important. Uh, NCOs, you really, really need to see this to ensure that you understand the expectations from the offices. All right, let's see. All of us know the qualities and responsibilities of an NCOs. Like by, by the way that you all uh, written it down, standing up, uh, sending it in uh, over here, that you know, actually you know, like uh, your responsibility, you know what your officers expected out of you. And most importantly, you know what to expect from yourself to be and to do. Actually, in fact, right, like uh, no one needs to really retrain you or teach you the qualities and responsibilities of an NCOs because you all know very well the quality and responsibility and it's very important for you to have this self-awareness. At the end of the day, right, so I want to tell you that today is not so much about like telling you the qualities and responsibilities because you can read, you no, know, you can find out everything from the BB handbook, you can do whatever that you, you can, you can do a lot of studies about this, but the most importantly, it's not about the training tonight. Tonight is about conviction. Tonight is about reinstatement. Tonight is about rededications of yourself towards what you're going to do. If you know all about the quality and responsibility as an NCO, what's next for yourself? That is the most important thing for tonight. Yeah, let's see the next questions. What are the personal qualities of an NCO that you think that you should have? the personal qualities of the NCOs like uh, yes all that's on the screens are the personal qualities of an NCOs like the thing that is not is basically to stand firm all right so on your own belief and the way of doing things I think it's always important if you think that we are teachable if you think that we're hungry I think it's always important not just to stick on the way that we do things but to be open up and to hear what other people's got to do uh, got to tell us at the same time as well. All right. Thank you so much for those who are able to answer. Let's see what is the next question. The personal life of an NCO should be. What should the personal life of the NCO should to be? Let's see if you can get this correct. All 
right? So the 10 people who say that you have to act differently at home and in parade to suit your best personality, like uh, I hope that you don't do that. And please do not prioritize BB over studies and family, like, like uh, the family comes first, study comes second, like uh, BB comes it, all right? And like, uh, it's so important that you be a person of honesty and integrity and also be real and consistent in your conduct and words. Let's see, next. Let's see who is, wow, Ernest, second Puchong, right? Wow, it's good to hear, to see some familiar faces. And Fuyu, second Manjung, and Jason, third. Right now we have like Fuyu are still there. And I think Jason is new and Ernest is new, right? So it's always possible for you to rise up. Like you can see how Ernest have done it. Okay, let's next, let's go next. All right, questions 11. You have more questions to go like before we end this. Relationship. Let's talk about the relationship with officers. How important is it as a members, as an NCO, with your relationship with an officers? Is it hard to relate? Is it the two-way things? It's important to have mutual trust. And what is important? Like the NCOs must depend on themselves to solve the problems before seeking help from the officers. What would that be? All right, so I was like hoping no one will write like it's hard to relate to the officers. Yeah, I mean like uh, it's very sad for the officers when the members say, it's so hard to relate to you, sir. All right, as much as the officers want to go to your level, I think it's very important for you to also go to your officers level. Uh, I think it's like, uh, wow, there are quite a number of you saying that NCO must depend on themselves to solve problems. Huh? Like uh, I, I think right, the NCOs don't have to depend on themselves to solve the problems. Like it's always important for teamwork it's always important to come together and discuss things with your uh, officers. That's the reason why in this particular uh, topic, it's all about the relationship with the officer in this segment. It's a two-way business. So as I said, like uh, when the officer wants to reach out to you, it's also important for you to reach out to your officers so that your officers know that, hey, you know, like the officers also be encouraged by your presence. Yeah? And it's so important to have mutual trust on this. Let's see the next. Leaderboards, like uh, Ernest is still leading, Fuyu. Andrew is making a comeback. Well done. Next, question 12. When you disagree with your officers, what's going to happen? How do you do it when you disagree with your officers? George, can you give me a signal whether like uh, you... Everyone can hear this, the background music. Can it? Okay, thanks. So what do you do when you disagree with your officers? I hope like uh, we try to get this right for everybody here. Well, I should prepare to admit my of uh, admit that my officer may have other points of view. That's good, and uh, I should clarify and discuss with my officers. Oh, uh, yeah, well, there are 10 of you saying that I should tell all my NCOs why, why so that they can support and understand. It's like, please don't do that, right? It's going to be a disaster for your company when you go and gather all your NCOs uh, and try to boycott the officer council and try to form your own council. Like, uh, please don't do that. Like, uh, I need to stand firm and prove that my way is better. Well, uh, there are times like, uh, no matter what is it, right? I strongly suggest you not to stand firm and prove that your way is better. Often, when I was an NCO, I think my way is better. I think it's like, hey, I'm better than my NCO. I'm better than my captain. But what my captain is doing is outdated. But I tell you, when you, when you become captain, when you become officers, then you finally realize that, hey, no, what my captain said is correct. What my officer said is correct. Trust me, when you reach that level, then you will understand what I'm talking about. Like, I want to, I want to plant this desire for you to reach that level so that you can come back and tell me whether am I right or wrong, yeah? Next, let's see what's next. Uh, who are on the leaderboards? Ernest are still on leaderboards. Uh, Andrew and Fuyu. Okay, that's good. All right. Let's see. Four more questions to go. Yeah. When I work with other NCOs, how do you relate when you work with other NCOs? By the way, all these materials are coming from the ENTC materials here. Yeah? Uh, 
Let's see how it goes. When I book with other NCOs, uh, you don't need to lead and influence them to do it your way. Yeah, there's always a better way, which is the God's way. Yeah, like uh, it's always good to work together as a team. It's always come together to uh, to learn and accept the good and bad. It's always good to let go of uh, our personal interests and work towards the interests of the companies. And it's also so important that uh, you need to be resourceful and be ready to get your hand dirty. Well done, most of you. Let's see who's on the leaderboard right now. Wow, and Ernest is still leading, yeah, Andrew. And now we have a new guy on board, Samuel Wong. Well done, Samuel. I hope that uh, you can go on the first and second position next. All right, 14 out of 16 questions, three more questions to go. Now we talk about the NCO's relationship with the members. Right, uh, yes, uh, NCOs, like uh, you are the mouthpiece uh, spokesperson like, uh, of the boys to the offices and you are also the spokesperson of the offices to the members. It's so important, you know, that your role is so important because they are often that uh, you play an important role and you're so important that there are certain things that the officers won't be able to do. Right, because of the peer that you have and because of the influence that you have as an NCO, it's so important that you play this role, that you represent your members to the offices and the offices to the members. And all uh, like, uh, and the relationship, like uh, all that the NCO says and do, right, have a strong influence to the boys and girls. That's why it's so important for all of you to lead by examples, NCOs. Yeah, let's see what's next. Who's on the leaderboard? Wow, Ernest. Andrew and San Chao, right? Where's Samuel? Samuel is like, uh, you are down. Okay, like your uh, same score with Irvin. Huh? Okay, you have still have more chances. Let's see. The NCOs is appointed to assist the offices. NCOs plays an important part in the running of a company. As such, he or she needs to know exactly where he or she stands and what is expected of him. Let's see. According to the BB Handbook, and I resonate it very well because like uh, page 31 to 33 in the BB Handbook is so, so important and I can't stress it enough. NCOs, you have to read it over again and again and again and continue to, to have it with you because like uh, make it so close to your heart. Even until today, I still refer to the handbook and still, and there's so much of uh, material and good points in the BB Handbook. So it's very important NCO to have excellent attendance record. Can you imagine that you're, at, you're always not there? How can you be an NCO? Right? Often, it, even if I, I'm just, I can only say in my own companies, right? I, can't, I can't say like the rest of the other companies. NCOs that I've encountered over the last 15, 20 years, right, are always very good in attendance before they become NCOs. The moment that you become NCOs, oh, everything changes. All right, you think that, hey, you know, I've reached that level. I, I don't have to prove myself again and I can do other things. But this is not. So excellent attendance record. You've got to continue to be excellent in your attendance, right? So in my companies, I attract the 100% attendance. And I, I want to see that you really, really want to uh, give all your uh, self, uh, give, uh, give uh, your best. And also like uh, by giving your best means like you'll be there, right? Just being there, half the better one. Just being there, you actually have already uh, made your presence felt. It's so, so important. I can't stress enough because like, uh, if, imagine that the officers need you to run the company, officers need your help, but you're always not there because you're so busy with other things. So NCO, I strongly suggest you to really, really relook into attendance and ensure that you do well at least in your attendance. Next, keenness, interest, and enthusiasm. All right, just now there's a slide saying like, Abounding enthusiasm is so important. Half-hearted is of no use. 
seriously, NCOs, I, I just really, really want to tell you, right? If you want to be an NCO, your keenness level, your interest level, and your enthusiasm level must be always there. I know there's always up and down. No, life is not perfect all the time, but it's so important for you to keep the momentum, right? Because half-hearted is of no use. If you give, if if you think that you just want to give up to become an NCO, you might well give up completely because it's of no use. If let's say you are just half-hearted, if you want to serve, serve hundred percent. I want to challenge all of you. If you want to serve NCOs and the potential NCOs today, serve 100% if you really, really want to. If you don't want to, don't waste your office's time. Don't waste your time because you can focus on something else. But if you really, really want to do well in the things that you do, focus 100% and give your 100% to your company to be enthusiastic. And good conduct and character is so important. We can't stress this enough, right? That uh, you represent the company in and out. Right? Anything that you do, whether you're on uniform or you're not in uniform, whether you're at home or whether you are, uh, whether like you're in the school, all right? whether you are in the BB program, you, it's so important that you be consistent because I often have the parents who come to me and say, hey, you know, like uh, 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 when my son come to Boys Brigade, he was like, wow, you're so good. But the moment that he go back home, right, he's just like monkey. You know, I was like, wow, what happened, man? Like, uh, what, what you all do, like, they can be so good in the boys' brigade, but the moment that they come home, right, everything is so different. I look forward to really see, right, the parents come forward and say, hey, you know, my boy changed because of boys' brigades. And I believe, you know, this is the greatest gift that you can give it to your company officers, to your captain, right? So that you don't have to give them anything extra. But if you can have the parents to give a great testimony because of the boys' brigade and your conduct is the same at home and the conduct is the same, when they are at, uh, at the church or in the school, rest assured, like uh, all the company officers who are just smiling and say, hey man, I did it. Next, loyalty to the officers and company is so, so important. Of course, I'm not talking about if you have to, uh, if you have to leave your company to join another company due to whatever reason, like uh, there's a valid reason, it's fine. Right? But whatever is it, if let's say you are not falling into the category of extension work, if you're not falling into the category that your company is planting a new company, if you're not falling into com uh, situations like you have to live for a strong uh, reason, like uh, it's so important for you to be, off to be loyal to your offices and your company and like uh, whatever that you have uh, gained from your company, go back and serve. Like I, I came from second Kampa company. Right, so, uh, unfortunately, I can't continue to, to stay and serve in Second Kampa. But when, when, I come to K, when I came to KL back in many years ago, I served in First Kuala Lumpur Company. Right, so I, I served in First Kuala Lumpur and when, the, when it's time for me to start 12 Kuala Lumpur Company, yes, this I continue to move on. And I want to continue to encourage all of you. NCO is the future of uh, tomorrow. That's uh, make yourself a goal to become captain. Make yourself a goal to become officers because it's so, so important for you to continue what your captains, what your officers are doing right now so that you can continue the legacy because you gain so much from your officers and when you are ready and able to serve by the time you become officers, please come back and serve in your company. It's so, so important. Yeah? And last things in the BB, BB, in the BB handbooks. I, I don't say all these things by myself because but these are all from the BB handbook. That's to keep a good record of example in every way let's move next up. okay two more questions to go like before we determine who are who is the champions for tonight yeah all right so list top three duties of an ncos Let's see. All right. 
the top three duties of an NCO is according to the BB handbook. Yeah. All right. Make my officers happy. Wow. The officers are going to be very happy when you, when you say that, but you don't need to make the officers happy. Yeah. So like uh, your key, one of the key uh, duties is to be a uh, squad commanders and leaders. It's not so much about game leading. It's not so much about paying compliments, but yes, it's to lead in camp. Yeah. And to uh, arrange squad tea. All right. Not, not that important. It's not that I'm saying that it's like you would do all these things, but the top three key duties remain as a squad commander or leader to lead in the camp and to be instructors or the key activity lead. Let's see if Ernest are still going to be number one here. Let's see. Wow, it's still Ernest, right? Second Puchong. Right, Samuel, you're back. And Joshua Law, we have a new kids on the block, Joshua Law. So we have these three. So there's one more question, right, uh, for you to, to get uh, later that will determine the, the winner for tonight it will still be around like uh, this uh, the one to seven like uh, we see Manpin are still there wow you are trying hard to come back that's good okay fit me like uh, as a squad commander and leader what should you do The rest of you can look at the screen so that like uh, you can you can you can see what's the rest uh, say as well. Like as a squad commander and leader, what should you do? for the participations. Like most of you say that as the squad leaders, I need to take care of our members. I need to uh, listen to the advice of the officers. I need to show good example. I need to be responsible. So all of you are so good. All of you know exactly, you know, like uh, as, a, as an NCO, as a squad commander, as a leader, what should you do? Let's see what's next, the next input that I hope to get from you. As a 10 commander, I should, what should you do as a 10 commander? As a tank commander, what should you do? Let's see. All right. Come on, feed me with your answers. Right, that's good. Like, uh, you, you, you see it's right over here, like officers, I just want to let you know, like uh, all the members over here, they know what they're doing. They, they, they know what exactly is needed. As I say, you know, like uh, this training, quality and, uh, quality and responsibility of NCOs, like they all know so clearly what is it all about. Praise the Lord. Like uh, 200 over answers. Okay, let's next. Like uh, as an instructor and key activity leader, tell me what should you do? Remember, these are all the top three key duties as an NCO. Be cool. All right. Lead the boys. Be open to criticism. Right. Ensure activities run well. Okay. That's good.
right. So thank you so much for all the answers. Like, uh, well done. I think the, the key highlights for over here as uh, instructors and key activity leader is so important, right, to give the right information. Uh, I, I like... Uh, uh, I, I like what is uh, stating over, over here. Um, that uh, you have to run the activity safely. Yeah, it's, it's so important to, to look into the, uh, the safety, you know, ensure a plan and execute well. Makes all members, don't be too serious, okay? Do, build up relationship, make a nice ice breaking. Yeah, exactly. All of you know what to do. That's great. Let's next. Uh, duties of NCOs vary from company to company and it's so important to work closely with your captain and officers to ensure that you are aligned with the company direction. It's so, so important. So over here, as I said, like uh, at the beginning of the slides, right? Tonight is not about uh, whatever training that we're going to give it to you. Tonight is all about the commitment and rededicate yourself to make your company great again. So like uh, we're going to break you out like uh, for 10 minutes uh, over here. And in this breakup room, uh, format is about four to six person in the room. And it's like get to know one another uh, in the room. Do a very quick icebreaker. Uh, uh, just, just introduce yourself. Like, uh, and it's, it's not a debrief session. Like officers don't do a debrief session uh, over there. It's mainly for them to share uh, their commitments uh, and how do they want to make their company uh, great uh, again. So when you are in the room, well, after you do your sharing, all I need you to do is to answer the next questions like, I am committed to make my company great again by, by doing what? Like don't, don't simply type it here yet, but I want you to have these discussions in the breakout room. George, over to you. Uh, and we have going to have 10 minutes breakout room uh, with the, uh, we will just randomly uh, spread everyone as what we have discussed. Yep, sir. Have a good time, like uh, in your breakout room. Enjoy the fellowship and get to know new friends. All right, thank you, Nicholas. So we're gonna, I'm gonna break you guys into the different breakout rooms. Uh, you should have one officer in every room, but nonetheless, uh, don't be, don't panic if you see a screen popping up in a couple of minutes asking you to go into the room, all right? So I'm not kicking you out of this uh, session. You're just going into the breakout room. And please come back after that, all right? Don't leave, we haven't ended the session yet. We still have something very, very important, which is taking a group photo later, all right? So in five seconds, you'll be prompt to join the room, okay? Sergeant Daniel, Weixing, are you there? Nascapo KC and Napoleon. Uh, Shao Hang and Nascapo Fu and Lo Ming and Mao Yi Kai. Remember to go into the room. All right. Uh, Weixing, you need to go into the room because you're the only officer there. Uh, Josh, just 10 minutes, then we'll bring them back, yeah? Okay. okay. No problem. Okay, 
break for 10 minutes. <laughs> Well, they're still around, huh? Mm -hmm. These are people yeah. still around. Yeah, I think they are away from keyboard. That's why. <laughs> now we catch them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, huh, so far? So far, so good, lah. The arranging, uh, a bit. Uh, most of it is okay, but some didn't have name like you said before, they lah. Sorry, what you saying? The breakout room. Some didn't have names. Uh, their ranks. So I just randomly put in. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it would be perfect if we have 100% who follow instructions. <laughs> uh, but good, good that we have one overseas in every room. Wow, really? Yeah? Mm, one overseas in... Go, okay. Uh, I saw also there's Macau. Second Macau and uh, two companies from Macau. Wow, praise the Lord, man. Yeah, one of the sergeant named even more king. Sergeant Pegasus from second Macau. Pegasus, the 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 horse with the wings. Yeah, so important. Know when they put it up, and then we know that we can recognize them. How was how was the training so far? I think it's good. I mean, like the overall is very interactive, and I think the members are um, enjoying it, lah. I can see that they're chatting in the chat, talking about the answers and things like that. And some idea come out, even like uh, having anime, uh, BB handbook. Uh, what in the in the in the in the chat? Yeah. Let's see. Wow, there are a lot of things on the chat, man. Yeah, a lot. They are talking, talking. Wow, yeah, I can see the interaction. Lah. that's good, lah. Some some even say, "Hey, I, I'm the one giving the answer. That's me." Da, 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 da. Overall, I think it's interactive, like, which is good. Mm. At first, it's a bit, um, the, the, the bringing up the momentum is a bit cold in the start. Yeah. It's good, good. Oh, can't wait for this uh, to be done. Then I can take a break. <laughs> <laughs> almost, uh, almost there already. Yeah. Uh, Five more minutes. Yep. Uh, I think I think I start exactly at 845. Huh? Uh, F45, you want to start at F, F45? No, I, I start because like 830, we didn't start. Man. Actually, like uh, uh, I, I only start at 845 or 850, something like that, I believe. Uh, F40. 840. Uh? Sure uh, not. Cannot be. Uh. We, we wait. Okay. okay, your start is what? No, no, no. Team, it's or? like when I start is when I have 100 participants. Only I start. Oh, that one is uh. F45 already. Uh. Huh? 8.45. Yeah, I okay. think 8.45 or 8.50 around that because yeah. like it takes about 10 minutes for people to just come in and get ready. 
yeah. Right? So like uh, I say I need one hour, right? So like uh, my one hour starts from that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tun, tun. yeah. Ah, so like I've timed it very clearly already, man. Like uh yeah. So now now nine Like all the all these things what gonna happen is like uh I will uh um I will download this and then like uh, pass you a copy that you can basically send to all of them who have registered. Mm. Uh, to to actually for them to revisit this uh, again, so, yeah, mm. probably do a short message uh, for everyone. And mm. like, uh, uh, I think the whole idea over here is not so much like uh, giving training because an, an hour, if you want to keep talking, I think it's tough. Uh, what, what the whole intention is basically, they already know what is required. Uh, today is really back to the convictions of the heart. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, looking at the answers, you know, they know what it takes already. La. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, they don't know what it takes, like, uh, have a little bit more interactions here and there. Mm. Yeah, but I think good is that the others that who don't know, the answers is here. It's given by those who share. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so you are really a facilitator. <laughs> yeah, the facilitator, right? You put my name as facilitator, ma, so I have to do a facilitation, right? <laughs> Yeah, they don't want to miss come, miss come. Uh, uh, so I'm very obedient, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and 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 the surprise, man. Oh man, thank you for that. Uh, suddenly, what? <laughs> I I because I'm arranging the breakout room, uh, so my uh, screen is blocked. Because yeah, I saw that if I got no response, uh, I see your your face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was because I was looking. Uh, arranging, arranging, arranging. Then suddenly there's a first century, okay, la, uh, maybe you're opening something. Then suddenly still hear my name. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a good one now, good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the prayer some more, that one. Yeah, I think it's important now. Uh, I think like yeah. uh, some basic stuff like this. Uh, there's like uh, questions. Like, what if the other activities clash with company parade? Hmm, okay. Sukma. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, this is where I talk about uh, attendance. Like, what if I cannot attend because school? You know, what if the activ other activities clash? Right. Uh, how are you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> eh? No, there's... Eh? I think it's from the Tata one. Oh, bad. Rose and responsibility of an answer. This is the one Salah. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain. <laughs> the last time one uh, uh, I, I don't even know like what is the price for best star to later they won <laughs> <laughs> well uh, we'll set uh, so you say your budget so then we set then if we can have two or one yeah. but I think they are they are, they are enticed by that la, for sure yeah. Actually, I didn't even thought of that, you know. At first, like, uh, I was like, maybe give badges lah. Then, like, limited edition badges. I was thinking like, oh, yeah. I think that I go toilet then, like, just right before I meet up with you, and then I was like, hey, so I just offer this lah. <laughs> <laughs> ready made product. Uh, <laughs> and promotion as well. Yeah. I think good lah. Not easy, you know, be president. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very uh, hot seat and heavy uh, Heavy, hot and wet. Oh, uh, <gasps> <Ayoh>. yo. <laughs> if, no, if no calling, better don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will be uh, Okay, it's good, good, good. Like a uh, little bit more to bring them back. I think you have to text yeah. them. Uh, text. Uh, text. No, I'll call them back. Uh, you call them back. Uh, or yeah. I mean like should, should tell them uh, like wrap it up or something like I thought uh, uh, you can you can text something right to all the the group yes uh, uh, text them up. and tell them wrap up wrap up the presentations uh, wrap up uh, yeah wrapping uh, ask, ask them to wrap up I think it's important yes. yeah, wrapping up in one minute okay <clears throat> okay some are back here already uh, Madam Tan is back here already Da, 
no no questions for me in the group chat. Uh, I no, believe. Yeah, no okay, it's good. <clears throat> Are they coming back soon? Yeah, uh, in 30 seconds. Still. Okay, it's great, great, great. Yeah. <clears throat> Some people ask, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah. In the room? In the chat. No, just now. Oh, okay. You scared me like what to do in the room. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, let's call them back. Hmm. 30 seconds, they're coming back. Thank you so much. Welcome back, uh, everyone. Like, uh, so good. I like, hope that you have a good time, like, uh, together with, like, uh, especially knowing uh, the international uh, participants. Like, uh, I, was, I was told by George there will be, there is at least one international uh, participant like, uh, in every uh, breakout room. Wow, this is so fantastic. You know, today God is so great. Huh? You get to know an international friend and you get to know people from hopefully other states and other companies at the, at the same time. And uh, do keep in touch and like uh, uh, with one another, like uh, I think it's so important to make friends in the boys' brigades. Like, thank you so much uh, for all the commitment that you have put over here. Uh, it's very important that, uh, that you all put, uh, put it over here because like, everything that you put it here will be recorded and like, uh, it's anonymous, right? No one knows what you actually write. Uh, and this is important because like, uh, this presentation will be then sent back to you for you to reflect upon what, uh, then you can study a little bit more after the, the training, what, uh, what you have committed, what other people committed and how you can basically get more uh, ideas from here at the same time. So we have only 40, 48 people who have actually uh, making their commitments. So like we have a little bit more, like uh, a little bit more to, to go uh, before I end today's like, uh, I think it's like I've, I've gotten permission that I say that I need a complete uh, one hour and I actually started exactly around 8.45 uh, to 8.50. Uh, when I get 100% of you to come in, like uh, I will basically end around uh, that time. So if anyone of you need to leave earlier, like you may do so. Like uh, after the dedicated one hour time that I have, if anyone of you like to have more questions, so feel free to stay back and let me know. Right, so I'm here to answer more questions of yours. All right, so we shall move next. The conclusion. Yes, yes, we are finally, you know, like, yeah, like we're concluding uh, this already. So the conclusion is, the issue is not whether we know the quality and responsibility of an NCO or not. This is whether we are willing to pay the price to make it happen because all of you have written, like I got you to write down all the qualities, all the responsibility, what you're going to do as a squad commander, squad leader, as a tank commander, and also when you become an instructor and take charge of the activities, right? The important thing is like today is not about the teaching. Today, it takes a whole new level of conviction to be the NCO that your company desires and I wish you to WhatsApp your captain you know, and tell your captains about your learning and your commitments. Uh, if not your captains, your officers in charge of the senior sections, you no, know, like encourage them, tell them, hey, you know, this is what I learned and I am committed to make uh, my company great again by doing so. You know, your commitments and I, I, I tell you, your, your captains, your, uh, your office is going to be so, uh, so enlightened with your commitments by you, uh, uh, by you telling them what is your commitments. I hope that uh, today, uh, the whole objective of me doing this training is to basically to challenge all of you to have this level of convictions, all right? And also like to pay the price, all right? To become the NCOs that your companies desires. The last questions of the day that will determine the champions for tonight, which will get one ticket to FESTA. What does it take to make things happen? Right, it's only 
one answer, right? If you get it, you get it, you get it, you get it tonight. What's important? Yeah. Right, there are other people's right convictions. Very good. The three who basically answer conviction. Yeah, the most important things that will make things happen is conviction. Yeah, in conviction is so. I know many of you answer the other uh, answers, like the forty-four of you answers, like uh, only one that's correct, which is the conviction. Let's see who is the winner for tonight. Samuel Wong, wow, <laughs> congratulations, Samuel Wong. All right, by getting 8,280 points. Praise the Lord. Ernest, you're so close, you're so close. I think it's like uh, Samuel Wong after you because of the last questions, because of the last questions. Wow, okay, congratulations, Samuel. Like, uh, please leave your information uh, with George. And I want to give a disclaimer there's no uh, replacement. If you can't be in PESTA 2021, there'll be no another tickets, right? This ticket is not to trade with your other members or your companies. Like, this is only for you, Samuel Wong, alright? So I hope that to see you in PESTA 2021 in Kuching. It's like, ticket on me. Alright, thank you so much. Thanks a lot for everyone's participation. And like, uh, that shall conclude my tonight's presentations. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Congratulations, Samuel Wong from 3rd KK, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, remember to leave me your details. And I see that you check that you're not sure whether you're going past that. But with this ticket, you're for sure going past that. Congratulations, man. All right. So the last thing that we shall need to do before we close for the night, it's not Minecraft, um, is to take a photo, a group photo for everyone here. Okay, so turn on your videos. Uh, so this is usually the time that everyone will turn on the video. Lah. All right, before that, everyone is sitting back, relaxed, playing PUBG here and there. Uh, okay, smile big, big. The biggest smile is like your, you saw the love of your life across the street. Okay. Ready? Okay. You guys need to stop chatting because if not, the chat keeps popping up, then I should sign up screen screen. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19, 20, all right, okay, wait, uh, I think Fu Yi Tao, okay, he left, he was left out the room, okay, all right, so I think we are done, okay, so before we close for the night, let's close in Vesper. But before that, we just want to give thanks again um, to Captain Nicholas, um, our brigade president, for bringing us through this wonderful session. Let's give him a big clap. All right, the biggest clap that you can have. Uh, now we call E clap, virtual clap. Okay. So before we close for the night, there are some one last question for you guys to do. So you will see a few four questions that pop up on your screen. Kindly fill in that poll for us. We want to know what you think. Then after that, we'll close for the night. All right, you, she's, you shall see the question in front of your screen now.
Okay, cast your votes, cast your opinions, say yes, no, maybe. All right. Okay. So all are done. Fantastic. We have two more people. Then Okay, all right, so we are done for the post. Thank you guys very much. Then we shall now close in Vesper, all right? Let me load the video. Okay, are you guys able to see my screen? Okay. Okay, ready? Sound off. This is the end of our LTP tonight. Thank you guys for joining and I'll see you in the next one at the end of next month. Check out our VBM Facebook for the registration. All right. So see you guys and have a good night.